Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new video. So I had a few spare minutes in the car and I've just been going through some messages on Instagram and I've been talking to three or four people about how to pick products to sell on Facebook um, and they seem to be having problems. So they either have like three or four products in mind and they're not sure which one to go with or they're just completely overwhelmed, they're completely stuck and they don't know where to start. So that's the topic I wanna to address in this video. I've made some notes to go through. Um, and my goal then is by the time you finish watching this video is you'll know exactly what makes a good product to sell successfully using Facebook ads. And that kind of leads me on to point number one, which is depending on how you're trying to sell a product. So if you're trying to sell it on Facebook versus Google AdWords versus Instagram, then each one of those marketing platforms has its own criteria of what makes a good product. So to give you an example of this, if you try to sell a fridge, on Facebook, then the chances are you're not gonna be very successful because a fridge isn't an impulse buy. People aren't on Facebook to buy things. When somebody goes on Facebook, they're not looking to buy something. They're scrolling through their newsfeed. They're looking at what their friends are up to, posting themselves or watching funny cat videos. So the chances of somebody coming across your advert for a fridge and impulse buying it there and then um, is quite slim. Whereas if you compare that to say Google AdWords, people do go onto Google and search for things they want to buy. So to sell a fridge through Google AdWords, then you can target people looking for those for that specific search term. So it's a lot easier. When it comes to selling it on Facebook, then there's certain products and the criteria of those products, which we'll be speaking about in this video, which make it easier and increase your chances of having success. So the first point I want to mention is the fact that the first product you pick to advertise on Facebook might not be a winner and you might end up losing money. So to give you an example, then when I first started advertising on Facebook ads um, over three years ago now, then I believe it was my fifth or sixth product that actually saw some traction and actually became profitable and allowed me to expand and scale the business. Now, those first five or six products, whatever it is that I advertised, that failed, it wasn't a waste of time or money because what it allows you to do is that the more products you test, as long as you keep the data, don't delete the campaigns, then it allows you to compare the different ad sets, compare the different data and the results from them. So you soon start to realize what is good data, like what a good number is. So if you've never advertised on Facebook before, the chances are you won't know what a good cost per link click is. You won't know what a good quality ranking is. You won't know what a good CPM is. So by advertising, say, five or six different products, spend the same amount of money, reach the same amount of people, um, and you can compare the data. And what it will do is it will create a benchmark of what good data is versus bad data. And then that way you'll know which product is getting the best traction, which product is getting the cheapest clicks, etc. It will allow you to focus on that one product. And when it comes to picking other products, then you'll know what a winning product is. So picking the second one, a lot lot easier to summarize then you almost have to go through those products that fail because learning from those lessons will allow you to succeed so to give you an example then let's say you stick with one product um, it's the very first product you choose to advertise and you're averaging about 40 pence um, cost per link click now you might think that's really good and continue to invest money into it thinking hang on a sec i'm getting really good cheap um, clicks on getting really quality traffic but for some reason it's not profitable whereas if you had tested say three four five or six different products one of those ones may have got say cost per link click for about 20p in which case you would have focused your all your attention and budget and money onto that one which would have had a better chance of success so that's point number one by the way guys any questions on anything at all i want to make sure everything is 100 percent clear by the time you've watched this video so if there isn't um, feel free, leave a comment down below. I do answer every single comment. The next point comes down to having an audience in mind before you pick a product, or at least if you do pick a product, make sure you have a very, very, very specific audience that you're going to be targeting for that product. Now, again, to illustrate why this is so important, if we go back to the example of a fridge, advertise a fridge on Facebook and pretty much I mean, there's a high percentage of homes in the UK, in the US, in the countries you're going to be targeting where people have fridges. So it's not really a specific or niche product because it applies to everyone. Therefore, there's not going to be many people that are truly that passionate and interested in the fridge to buy it. Whereas if you're going to advertise, say, some socks that have pictures of a pug on, 
then that is a specific audience that you'll have to target on Facebook. And therefore, that product is going to resonate more with your audience than a fridge would because a fridge applies to everybody, whereas pug socks only apply to people who own pugs or people who really love pugs and just the way they look, whatever it is. So what I'm trying to say then to summarize this point so I don't end up baffling for too long is that when you pick a product, the more specific the audience is, the better, because when somebody's flicking through their newsfeed, you have a split second to capture their attention with your product. And if you don't, they're just going to continue scrolling through and move on to the next funny cat video or or whatever it is. So the more specific your product is to your audience, the more likely it is to get attention um, the more likely somebody is to stop on it and the more likely somebody is to click on it and therefore actually buy your product. And this kind of leads me on to my next point quite nicely, which is um, the word passion. So you've probably heard me mention passion products in my videos before. Um, I still stick by it because the more passionate somebody is about a subject, the more time they're going to give it. Again, using fridge as an example. I know it's a bit extreme, but there's not many people out there, or at least in my kind of family and friendship circle, um, that are passionate about fridges. You don't very often hear people speaking about them um, or getting excited about them or sharing videos of them or images of them, whatever it is. Um, so it's not going to get that attention that you need it to get in order for it to be successful. Whereas the pug socks, people are passionate about pugs. Like people bring them up as their children and see them as members of their family. So when somebody sees something to do with a pug, then it resonates with them. They have that connection. Connection is like the key when it comes to Facebook ads. If you put a product in front of an audience that has that natural passion and connection with that product, then you're going to be onto a winner, just hands down. So if you've got that list of products, just think, is somebody going to be super passionate about this product? Is there a specific audience that is going to be looking for a particular product like this? And if there is, then run with it. Just go with it, test it and see what happens. And if you're not sure then about whether somebody's going to be passionate about your product, the other kind of angle in which you can have success on Facebook is if you bring something new to Facebook, something cool, quirky, interesting um, that people have never seen before. Now, this is one of the most difficult things to do because of the times we live in with the internet, with social media, most people have seen most things, if that makes sense. And the best way to get attention, to get people engaging, commenting, sharing your product, your ad, your post is to show them something new that they've never seen before. When it comes to advertising on a social media platform, the biggest thing we can use to our advantage is the fact that every time somebody engages, shares, comments, tags somebody, um, it increases our reach for free and therefore our CPMs are going to be cheaper. So we need to take advantage of that. Think of it as when you're advertising a product in, I said this before in multiple videos, but it's still true even today, is once you've created your ad copy or you've got your product, just think, would somebody share this? Would somebody tag their friend to show this? If you follow me on Instagram, in fact, um, I posted this um, Facebook ad video that I was watching and I was watching it for the humor aspect of it. And the amount of engagement it was getting was crazy because it was funny. Yes, it had a product in that was trying to be sold, but it was funny. So, so many people were engaging with it and their organic reach on that video would have been huge, would have been massive because it is enjoyable to watch and it is the sort of thing somebody would watch laugh and want to tag their friend in it so they see it and then the next piece of criteria i want to talk to you about so we've gone over the fact that somebody has to be super passionate and have that connection with your product um, it can either be really interesting and new cool and quirky that nobody's ever seen before and then the third thing is it significantly increases somebody's quality of life so it solves a really valuable um, problem that people are having and if you can do that then again, people are naturally going to want your product because of what it can do for them. Again, this is a difficult thing to do. Ideally, make a note of these three criteria. If you've got your list of products, compare this list of criteria to those products and whichever product matches more criteria that I've gone through, if that makes sense, versus the others, then that's the one you want to go with. So if your product can solve a problem for somebody that is really troublesome, really valuable, either it's going to save them a load of time it's going to mean that they're not living in pain as much. They can, they're a bit more mobile, whatever it is. If it makes somebody's life easier, then people are going to be interested in it because everybody wants an easier life. And then the final thing I want to finish on is the price of the products, because again, this is important. Another mistake I see people making is they're selling products that are too cheap. Don't be afraid to sell a product for 30, 40, 50 pounds. People will, people will embrace products 
up to that price if it resonates with them enough if it increases their life if they've never seen it before and it's a really cool gift or something like that so in my opinion whatever you buy the product for delivered so make sure you include delivery price to that you need at least 15 pounds or 15 dollars on top of that to get your sale price so if something costs you 10 pound all in delivered to the customer you need to be selling it for at least 25 pound as a minimum you need to leave in there 15 pound 15 dollars for your facebook cost per purchase as a minimum the reason being then is because facebook ads are getting more expensive back when i started i've documented this in previous youtube videos you can get purchases for like three four five six pounds like pretty consistently pretty easily but nowadays if you can operate on a 10 pound cost per purchase on average then you should be happy with that so just make sure you pick a product that allows you to work and operate on those sorts of profit margins and with that being said then guys i'm going to wrap the video up um just so i don't end up talking for too long hopefully you guys are still watching hopefully you still enjoy and hopefully it's given you more of a clearer vision then of what a good product looks like for facebook as i mentioned earlier in the video any questions whatsoever please just post them below even if you've got like five ten questions just post them all um, i do answer every single question usually i give away a one-to-one -one call as well in every video because i'm on my phone in the car obviously i can't um, announce the winner and do the competition so just make sure you subscribe to the channel tune into my next video and the winner will be announced in that one and that being said then guys thanks very much for tuning in um, i probably need to get off now so i'll see you in the next one